sharing much more health and wellness vlogs within my channel and to celebrate we have got a green juice here's to what i'm breaking my fast with today so this one has lots of anti-inflammatory benefits it's got celery spinach green apple a little bit of lemon a little bit of ginger and cucumber i think that's everything oh and pineapple i'll leave the exact recipe in the description box below and i'll also put what juicer i've got as well because i know some of you will be wondering it's one that i've actually had for years i really invested in a good juicer years ago and it's fantastic but it's pretty pricey i'm not gonna lie so i'll also leave some other top recommendations for juicers in the description box as well got a nice little kick not too much just nice can really taste the celery in there and it's good it tastes like health so to start off these health vlogs I thought we could just have a proper chat and go into detail a little bit more as to why I want to share much more of this part of my life with you it's a huge part of my life it always has been I've always been interested in diet and health and fitness although fitness has always been the weaker one the one that I struggle to keep up with as much as I'd like to but it's always in my thoughts it's always in my mind I'm always trying to perfect things and get things right and previous previous to this year it's mainly been about looking and feeling good in clothes I love fashion I love styling I like to feel the best, healthiest version of myself, don't we all? This year, as a lot of you will know, I started suffering with my back. I got a really bad back. It kept me up every single night for months. It made me so anxious because I have never had chronic pain before, like a pain that persists every single night. So when my anxiety was bad, I'd be laid in bed thinking, there's a problem in there there's got to be a problem in there with the pain that I've got but I didn't quite know what it was so my thoughts would just run away with me and it was horrible so after tests and things like that and scans I've got mild scoliosis which is basically a slight curve to my spine but I don't think it's that that causes the pain because what I did realize over this year is that food and lifestyle makes such a huge difference to my pain and I can get my pain levels really low by myself just by putting maximum effort in so I think the problem is inflammatory and certain foods will inflame the surrounding tissues and I think there's like a pinched nerve there as well so I decided I really wanted to document this health journey with you because even though it might help you, which I'm hoping it will, it's massively going to help me stay on track because it's not part of my life that I can keep quiet within the vlogs. I really want to talk about it and share it because we can all help each other. You know, it's such a big part of my thought process that it just felt wrong not to document it with you. So like I was saying, as much as previous to this year, it was always to look and feel good in clothes and things like that, it's still that. We all want to look nice, but health is the main part of it. I want to be healthy. I want to feel like I'm going to live a long, happy, healthy life, not wake up in the morning so stiff and in pain. Like that has been such a confidence knock for me. It's funny because I think back to things that knock your confidence and you know think about visual things like putting on a little bit of weight or having a few spots and what they do to your confidence well nothing has ever knocked my confidence before like this back pain did like it's invisible nobody else can see it but having that pain every morning and feeling so stiff and tight and old knocks my confidence more than ever especially when i watch my husband jump out of bed at 5am and do his strength training he is like as 
fit as a fiddle. He will always be super fit, that's what he's like. And I was getting out of bed feeling like an old woman. I thought, wow, something has got to change. So I didn't want to stay on like painkillers every night and things like that. I hate taking painkillers. I like to feel and know what's going on in my body and if my own hard work has made any improvement to the pain. I don't just want to like numb it. So I thought, right, I'm really gonna have to tighten things, take things into my own hands. I'd say I'm quite a healthy person anyway, but I'm pretty normal. I've got bad habits. I am a foodie, if you like. I love food. Like some people are foodies, some people aren't really foodies, are they? They just eat when they're hungry and that's that. Well, I am a foodie. I love good food. I'm not the type of person that can take a couple of biscuits out of a packet and then put the packet back in the cupboard. I've never been able to do that. So I have got like bad habits when it comes to refined sugar and those naughty foods. It just triggers something in my brain and I think, oh my God, well bugger it, you've been bad now, so let's eat more. Bad mentality to have, I've never been able to escape it. All I can do is work on it and try and perfect it. So what I've learned to do is just try and cut that out of my life completely because it's a bit of an addiction for me so I don't really eat sugar anymore I try and swerve like those bad carbs and refined sugars as much as I possibly can I just don't touch them and if I do it's a bad day I've completely fallen off track so I'll have like bits of fruit here and there and things like that but generally my lifestyle I try and cut sugar out completely and that's one thing that is amazing for my back pain so let's talk about what you're going to be getting within these vlogs and what i'm hoping to share with you much more on my channel and what i've been doing over the past few weeks to get my back pain right down to a minimum because you'll be happy to know it's like at level pain level one now and it's been right up to a 10 in the past and that's due to all my hard work and i know that if i undo all that hard work and let bad habits creep in my back pain will come back that's how it works it's been like that all year biggest thing of all number one is diet which i think is the most effective and makes the biggest difference like they say food is medicine don't they and i think it really is so i have just been cutting out processed foods i really do keep that to an app absolute minimum refined sugars um just basically eating clean and natural and nourishing foods i try and follow the anti-inflammatory diet which is fish meat eggs vegetables fruit but a smaller amount of fruit as soon as i do eat processed foods and refined sugars my body lets me know that i've been bad because my pain flares up again so it's a really good indicator to know drinking lots of water obviously and then also i like to mix in intermittent fasting from time to time which i will go into more detail and do a whole vlog on intermittent fasting i think the most important thing is to meal plan and get lots of nourishing healthy foods if you're fasting if i am fasting as well by the way i am a little bit more lenient with my diet i have more carbs than i usually would and i make sure that i'm full with a right balance of the right foods and the next thing i want to talk to you about is something that i've started which i've never actually got fully into previously because diet and exercise previous to this year has always been about mainly the way i look and feel in my clothes and i've always looked at yoga and thought well that's not going to make such a difference to my clothes surely you can't lose a lot of weight doing yoga wrong any exercise any strength work combined with the right diet you can lose weight not that that's my number one priority at the minute but yoga has been amazing stretching your body is so important like i have been so much more supple more mobile i think it's massively helped my back so i am an absolute beginner like i look so silly doing yoga but i honestly don't care it makes such a huge difference to my day and my mind and it really just sets me off on the right path in the morning 
and I can tell if I miss a couple of days and go a couple of days without it I can tell within myself like when I next do my session I'm like oh I can tell I didn't do that yesterday and also it makes a big difference to my mind like I crave it now in the morning it's weird I've started off with just a 10 minute morning session like 10 minutes everybody can spare 10 minutes in the morning it goes so quickly this session as well so i researched yoga for back pain and i found one on youtube i'll link the exact one that i do down below and i really like it i really like the stretches that she does they're not too difficult well to be honest i could barely do them the first day that I started and i've still got a long way to go to perfect them i am way off but I enjoy it and yoga is something you can do no matter what stage you're at you know you can make it easier or harder depending it helps it wakes me up it clears my mind and then what happens is the videos will roll over onto other yoga sessions so I'll just continue doing it for 20 minutes to half an hour following some other sessions and then after that I will do 30 sit-ups I'm on 30 at the minute I'm gradually working it up each day more and more for sit-ups but yeah that's what I've been doing guys and honestly my pain levels are at an absolute minimum I feel so much better so that's mainly what I wanted to chat to you about on this vlog just give you a little insight as to why I'm going to be sharing this journey and what I've already started doing and things like that I think in the past I've always wanted to share more about this on my channel but being completely honest with you I've been scared you're not going to like it and now I just think this channel is about me and my interests and my hobbies and what I'm enjoying. Like previous to this, I have always shared my family home life with you all, which isn't going anywhere. That's not going to stop. But what sometimes happens is that if I put a vlog out that's just mainly me on my own, I get the odd person commenting saying, where's Ryan? Or where's the kids uh, we miss them which is so lovely I'm so happy that you know we've made this family connection and that you know my life and my family and you feel that way about them I love that but please keep in mind that say if I think to myself through the week oh I've not filmed a video yet for Sunday I must film a video Ryan might be at work he's got a very demanding full-time job the kids might be at school Nancy also dances now four times a week Seth's just moved up to the next stage school he's gonna be 12 in February the kids are getting older and one thing that I hate is waiting for the right time to film for everybody to be around because that's it can't always happen and like I say the kids are getting older they don't always want to be on the vlogs and sometimes if they're not in the mood I'm certainly not going to force them to be on it so the one person that I can rely on is myself and when I started this channel it has always been very family orientated but I did call the channel Fern Weston Bennett because I knew that it was all going to be down to me it's my vision and my interests and my hobbies and my family has always been my main interest and priority I always put them first and now it's time to put myself a little bit first you know sometimes you'll get fashion you'll get home and garden you'll get health and wellness and sometimes you'll get a family vlog you know that's just the way it's going to be so I hope you can understand my direction of my channel and just support me on that and I thank you everybody for supporting me up until now like I can't thank you all enough for everybody who subscribes and comments like it's approaching two years that I've been doing the vlogs now which is crazy it's just gone so so quickly but I think two years in I've now got a clear focus of where I want things to go and like I say if there's anyone that you can rely on it's yourself and I know that I never let you down I've always got a Sunday vlog up so for that to continue it needs to be more focused about 
my interests and hobbies and what I want to share with you. I keep saying Ryan needs his own channel. He is the most incredible man. I have never met more of a hard-working, focused, positive man in my whole life. Like, he's got so much positive influence he could share with you all. So, I keep chipping saying, you know, you need your own channel because he has got so much which he'd love to share. I know he would, but right now at this moment, his work pays the bills. So, his work takes priority, but never say never. We'll see what's coming. But thank you all. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for being on this journey with me. Let me know in the comments if you've got any ideas on future videos that you'd like me to share with you, more things you want me to talk about. And if you haven't subscribed already, I would love for you to do so. And even click that bell for a notification every time I post a new video. That would be amazing. But I'm sending so much love to you all and I will see you all very soon in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.